<laughs> Residents of Miami's Little Havana section appear to be divided over the decision by filmmakers to go ahead with the movie Scarface. Al Pacino, seen here in Author Author, will star as a Mariel refugee turned dope smuggler in the $15 million remake of the 1932 classic. Producer Martin Bregman made the decision to go ahead with shooting the film in Miami, despite the strenuous objections of Miami Commissioner Demetrio Perez, who felt the film would hurt the image of the Cuban exile community in Miami. But some Cuban residents disagree with Perez. I think it's a good picture for the Cuban people and the other person is uh, living in, in Miami. It's a good picture. Others agree with Perez that the image of the Cuban community might be damaged by Pacino's portrayal. It's not right. It's not right to get refugees and put them on TV, on uh, movies. I don't like, I told him, it's better not, not put the, make this, that kind of people, the picture. Not here in Miami? No, here. Commissioner Perez was unavailable for comment tonight, but the film's producer says Scarface will bring jobs and money to Miami. And he says he doesn't feel the commissioner's objections represent the opinion of the majority of Cubans in Miami. So if all goes well, Scarface should go into production here in Miami in late October or early November. And by then, the filmmakers hope they'll have gained more support and less hostility from the Cuban community. Mark Trank, Channel 4 News in Little Havana. The packing up continues at the Miami production office of Scarface, and executive producer Lou Stroller blames the Miami Herald for prompting the pullout. Well, they were like sort of the straws that broke the camel's back. And these articles came out on over the weekend, uh, Mr. Bregman and Universal and myself all sort of got together and said, uh, as businessmen, we cannot uh, afford to risk this kind of money. At Miami City Hall, Mayor Maurice Ferre has been on the phone with Universal Pictures executives in California trying to salvage the Miami production location. Mr. Um, uh, Tannen, the president of Universal Studios, told me that the, that the breaking point was the two articles in the Herald uh, over the weekend. But Miami Herald executive editor John McMullen rejects suggestions that his paper inflamed emotions over the Cuban gangster theme of the picture. Uh, we take an institutional stand, uh, but we give our columnists uh, uh, leeway to express their own views. I don't think that uh, Miami needs or South Florida needs uh, a newspaper that uh, permits only its own opinion to be voiced. So barring a final change of heart in both Little Havana and Hollywood, for now, it's adios, Scarface. Jack Curtis, Channel 4 News.